and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for another edition of Esper Angels. Played, you know, of course, a lot of Angels decks here on the channel, and this is a deck we've uh, played a few times, but it's been been a few days, so uh, let's try it out again. The, the point of this uh, Angels deck, or like the reason to play Esper over the other color combinations, is to have a better control matchup. The Angels just kind of in general have a just um you know generally speaking playing cards like resplendent angel seraph lyra angel of grace especially lyra give you a, a pretty good aggro matchup um so we we just kind of in general have a, a good aggro matchup with these creatures um but control on the other hand control can answer lyra very easily and control's always been kind of a a a, a troublesome spot for angel decks so we're trying to win the control matchup by having Thought Erasures and Negates in the main deck, and then also having a lot more of that kind of stuff in the sideboard, Duress, more Counter Magic, Thief of Sanities to kind of to bring in there also. So this is like an Angels deck that, um, you know, has an okay uh, aggro matchup already that's kind of built to try to have a better control matchup. So let's... Uh, Let's see how it goes. Um, I guess the other thing to say is uh, we have a lot of things in our main deck with the Soul Tie matchup in mind, because that's the other thing about Angels. Uh, dive Down is, you know, good against like anything trying to kill our Lyra for the most part, but specifically good against um, uh, Soul Tie, because their main things being like Hostage Taker, Ravenous Chupacabra, and Vivian all being really good against us. The Dive Down really helps there. Uh, same with Kai's Wrath, destroy all their early creatures and everything, and then Immortal Sun, shut down Vivian for good, because Vivian's a big problem, and get us the card advantage to be able to uh, outgrind Hydroid Crisis over time. So that's our plan. Let's go ahead and try it out. Esper Angels. Oh, we got to get the new Duress Art in here. Good call on that. Let's get that ugly duress art out yeah good call all right now we're gonna play choose your deck choose your fighter thanks Valentin yeah so far um, eye strain has definitely felt less with the with the glasses um, so yeah, I'm glad, uh, or thanks for the kind words about him. Oh, Hallowed Fountain, Hallowed Fountain. So we're 26 land deck. Um, yeah, Sun's just better because the card advantage also. I have a Spyglass in the sideboard to kind of, you know, go even more on that. If we just draw a black mana source, we're going to be doing... Kind of fine with the Thought Erasure here and everything. How much total black mana do we have? I guess I could have counted that. 3, 7, 11, uh, 15. Not necessarily the most ever. Alright, deck, you can be nice to us. Oh, that's not being nice to us. That's still not being nice to us. <laughs> I had faith in our deck. I had, I had good faith in our deck. It hasn't rewarded me with that good faith. Hmm. We did counter their guild summit, though, so that's kind of cool.
They don't have any land either. So that's good news. No, they drew a land. That's bad news. So all we need to do is just draw this swamp, mortify the guild summit. There we go. I could see our opponent having like an expansion explosion here. We're gonna wait till their upkeep. Let me out. Please don't have Securitas route. Tilt. Yeah, this was Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce looking a lot better right now. Gates of Blaze. Gates of Blaze deals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Can I race the double gate colossus? Gonna take the gate colossus. They kind of have to to play the the gate to blaze like really soon. Well, now gate to blaze deals eight. Yep, Kalua King got, got some new glasses. So much new stuff today. All the new stuff. Perfect draw. So I can go Seraph with Death Touch. And dive down, or if I go, because if I go Lyra, then I only gain four, and I'm at 16, and I have to chump block with Lyra. So Lyra is no good. I can just go Mortify, Mortify and Thought Erasure. Maybe that's the way to go, just Mortify, Thought Erasure. Gates of Blaze does kill their Colossi right now. Hmm. I don't want to just do this. I guess I'm doing this, though. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. I thought it said good game, as in the game, like the game was over. When we are like very likely to win this. to win this. Hmm. 
Maybe not. They're attacking for 16 next turn. Just have to block one of these with the with the angel. Do they draw a gates of blaze? Or mass manipulation would be awful. Um Explosion wouldn't quite kill me. They basically need uh, double block one at least. No, I don't need it. I don't need Lyra to die because I I gained the five life like with that other angel. Yeah, they would have they would have mass manipulation first. So, against Gates, I think I, I'm about the Thief of Sanity life. I um, wonder if Unmoored Ego is something that I want. Um... Yeah, Dive Down can probably come on out. The uh, the Colossuses are, are definitely going to be a problem. This is 64 right here. Just take out Tithe Taker. Is there anything I'm missing here? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I... Ego... Ego's probably not bad. I don't know exactly what I would Ego. Dive downing, like... Mass manipulation is like a huge problem that I kind of want to have dive down, but we got to stand close to open gate, I suppose. Let's try this. So, uh, Spyglass doesn't do anything against Guild Summit, but we could ego them, but I have, I have like the Mortifies for it also. Aura Sonic, thanks for being back for an entire year of subs. Thanks, Aura Sonic. Sub number 13 on the day. Splendid Angel's not the best threat, but I guess it's a, a threat. Yeah, I mean, Ego can take out a bunch of different things, but I don't know if... I don't think there's anything that our opponent can't win the game if we Ego, and Ego is just card disadvantage. Um, and so I, you know, so I just don't, don't know if it's really worth it, so... Should play Goblet Shrine. Double ram. So we get a thought razor one ram away, we can mortify the other.
think I should have gone Erasure turn two better because of Ram. Um, yeah, I thought I was most certainly taking like you probably gonna be taking a spell, and that thought Erasure could take like a Crisis or something or like an eight eight or something like that later. Let's just pass. I want to be able to counter a circuitous route if they have one of those. I think they have like the post combat circuitous route. Why is this thing tapped? Oh, it only has vigilance and trample as long as you control two or more gates. I've just never seen somebody have two or like less than <laughs> two gates. <laughs> I just thought that thing had vigilance and trample all the time. I've never seen that <laughs> that not be the case. Hey, Dark Claw. Guild Summit. Now what do I kill? Guild Summit. Yeah, that would be nice if Disdainful Shrug was the gate, right? Don't have instant speed removal here? No. Gates are uh, uncommons. Yeah. Or maybe even commons. Actually, I think they're commons. Yeah, gates are commons. They did have the circuitous route. They played around the disdainful stroke. Now gates ablaze. Kills my angels. I should have blocked there. That was pretty bad not blocking. <laughs> yeah, we would be at 10 without an angel, but if 
if I didn't block there, we were taking lethal from we we're taking the le lethal here with the gates of blaze. So we got really lucky to draw the duress. I put myself at dying here. Um, to gates of blaze. So that was that was just bad of me to not. Um, to not. Well, I guess I could, I could have just activated resplendent angel though. So I guess that's that's something, but. Oh, you're right, we did miss 4 damage. Vigilant Angel. Yeah, we missed 4 damage. So I'm not going to tie up my mana every turn to activate this Resplendent Angel. i just got to kill this Ram. I think. So I can certainly see my opponent just casting a big explosion here. Yep, we counter that. So they have whatever card they drew, we have Thief of Sanity. Yeah, I should have hit them for the four, though. I missed that. That four could certainly matter. Okay. Putting the, like, Colossus isn't that big deal putting it back on top because they're just going to go back to the graveyard. I even have two basics? Okay, good. <laughs> a little bit of a question mark there. I'm getting the extra mana for explosion. And like Thief of Sandy's like extra mana and everything. Alright. Securitus route's not gonna do it. That is game. Um, one, two, three, four, five. We don't have to go through all the triggers. <laughs> Barry says, hey, I'm from the, hello, I'm from the Guinness uh, Book of World Records. I'd like to interview you on your achievements of having three thieves stay alive. <laughs> That's got to be a world record, right? Yeah, I want to just prevent those thief triggers. Just didn't need to do those. <laughs> you just lost to Gates? So, yeah, there you go. We, we got the revenge there on Gates for you. Ugh, the duress was perfect. The duress was perfect. All right, new game. I like what we have going on here. So we can, uh, we're gonna lead with the Glacial Fortress. I was gonna say because that, that land comes into play tapped where these other ones wouldn't. Ah, mirror match. Yep, it's always good. Yep, it's nice to be lucky and good. I like that GG emote. I like Hawkeye's face there. So this is our... Um, yeah, so Esper Control, this is like our... Usually the really tough matchup for Angels decks, but you know, this is why we're playing Esper Angels to, to help out uh, you know, we're going to be bringing in a whole lot of sideboard cards. 
here. So our opponent knows about the Lyra and the planes. They don't know about these negates. So they're just playing like this to ferry. And they don't know that we got a negate for them. Hope they don't have another Teferi. You know, it's it's. They had another Teferi. I was gonna say it's, it's safer for us to kind of hold up the other straight. negate, but if we just hold up the other negate, it's um pretty. Uh, it's pretty obvious that we have another counter spell, and and they won't. They just won't play the Teferi anyway. So I was just hoping they didn't have a sec, you know, two of their four Teferis in their we need to move top quickly. 11 cards, but they did. No. Don't scry three, draw three. Don't do that. All right, I would like to draw the Immortal Sun. Come on, the Immortal Sun. Cast down. That better not be the cast, the Brass's Contempt that I took out of the deck for a cast down. Hurry! Yep, Vanifar deck because of the donation yesterday. Yep. So that's that's the the DD there. That's the d donation deck. Keep up the pace. Hey, Ferret, got a job as a lecturer. Now get to watch Todd play Magic. Hey, good job. Nice job. This isn't going to actually work, is it? Warrant. All right, I'm done. Can't can't draw an immortal sun with uh or sorry with Lyra on top. All right, so we bring in a bunch of cards. Cutting Kai's Wrath, Lyra, Cast Down, a couple Mortifies, maybe all the Mortifies, maybe like two Resplendents. Sixty one, dive down. I, I don't think our, I would be a little surprised if our opponent brings in Thief of Sanity um, against an Angel deck because Thief of Sanity does not match up well against Angels and you know we were playing Lyra and Resplendent Angel and things like that there. I I wouldn't really expect them to bring it in. Doesn't mean that they won't, but I'm not really expecting it too much. Yes, they did take away the ability to search for a diff different basic art. Um. I think that that is likely an oversight, and that will likely be um, amended soon. But yes, for now, you can't. And it's sad. I'm not too surprised about Hostage Taker. That, that one's annoying. I'll hopefully have a sample stroke for Hostage Taker. Doesn't look good for us. What? So they're just, I guess they're just planning on hostage takering next turn. I mean, hopefully they don't, maybe they just don't have like that, that fourth land, maybe. We don't. Don't know if they have that fourth land or not. Hopefully not. Okay, they just had to mortify. Deck, help out. 
I should have taken out a land. Yeah, next time we play this, I need to take out a land. Because we lower a curve quite a bit. Um, yeah, I have too many lands in this deck. That's, that's something I can change. Yeah, this matchup, I need I need a sideboard out of land, because, you know, of course we've gotten flooded both these games, but, um, I just have too many in here. Oh, nothing but lands, and then our two drops in the late game. It's not... Not gonna help. Yeah, Woggle, the decks are always on... Well, it's just on the stream decker. That's where they always are. Alright, so 1-1. One one. Lost to Esper Control, which is, you know, still the tough matchup for Esper Angels, especially when you draw like that. Um... So next time, sideboard out a land. There. What does Angel fair Angels fare better than control against? Well, with angels, you you normally want to face the aggro decks. That's that's what you're trying to, to beat. Um, the control decks are your really tough matchup because they have a lot of a lot of card advantage and sweepers um, that are just good against you. The aggro decks here like really struggle to beat Lyra Dawnbringer and Sarah for the scales, especially you know, definitely Lyra obviously. Do not want to see Chain Whirler. Do not want our opponent to play a Chain Whirler. Because otherwise, like the, the you know, we can trade here. Which is good for us. Alright, so if I cast down Pyromancer, I save two damage this turn. And then, like, next turn, two damage. Otherwise, Chain Whirler is attacking for three here. Or, like, Chain Whirler is zero and then three. So it's an extra point of damage if I kill the Pyromancer over the next two turns. But Seraph also can block Pyromancer and can't block Chain Whirler. So I'm just going to kill the Chain Whirler. Now we don't don't draw any of our lands this this game. Our, kept our three lander. Come on, deck. Can we just get a one white source? We can Kaya's Wrath away these creatures. That'll be nice. Nah, fair. You don't you don't need to leave the stream. <laughs> it's not yeah, you're not just sending bad luck over here. It's okay. That happens. Well, we we got our land. Now all we need is is just one more and then we have Dawnbringer. And Dawnbringer kind of wins the game for the most part. So We're still looking okay. Just gotta draw a land here. And 
not have them go too crazy with experimental frenzy. Ugh. We did not draw land. But land there, Lyra gets to we get to play Lyra and gain five life with lifelink. But now we'll just kind of wait for Angel of Grace. No. Nope. Lyra's not good enough if you can't play it. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Our opponent didn't see any Resplendent or Lyra or anything, so they could just think that they're playing against um, a mid-range deck. Alright, we have 26 lands. For a reason. Okay, good start. It's not a white source yet, but you know, it's still still a good start. I am getting Steamkin out of here. I'm saving Mortify. Mortify can kill a Chain Whirler or a um, or a Frenzy or something like that. I'm not letting a Steamkin just sit sit around though. Oh my gosh. Yeah, absolutely loving life, pal. Yeah. miserable. Hey, thanks Loving Life Pal. Thanks for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. That's what we needed. You know, certainly getting punished for using the Cry of the Carnarium earlier. Jays with that Twitch Prime sub as well. Enjoy all the awesome new emotes. We got six new emotes today. And that's sub number 15 on the day. So we're getting that pack after this. Yeah, we're a 26 land deck. It's a lot of lands. Because I don't like things like this happening to me. Okay, first step. Just please don't have lots of burn spells. Ooh, that's good. They're not lightning striking me. That's definitely good.
All right, just don't kill me. Now I'll draw land, okay. All right, Lyra or Angel of Grace? I guess Angel of Grace. Angel of Grace into a Lyra. I should have up. I guess I should have upkeeped. Hmm. So I think my opponent was worried about settle, which is why they didn't attack with more things. I thought about not blocking and just going to one. Definitely thought about it. But the only card that, that that's good against is specifically Chain Whirler. Just have a land on top. Okay. So we can... Hit for five, go to seven... Play Resplendent Angel, and now that we're at seven, they should just have a land on top. So we can pay the two life, go to five, kill this, get another angel in. That should just be a, a, a land. Uh, you can find my decklist, Pedro, uh, in Stream Decker here. So yeah, I guess if you're doing the Selesnia Singleton deck, it's in, it's in there. Look for Selesnia Singleton uh, from a couple days ago. Yeah, that was about the only way we could win. Um, is our opponent drawing that many lands? So they still have a whole lot of creatures in against us. Um, let's get a, a Kaya's Wrath over a Negate. Should I play a second Wrath? No, let's go with this. It does not shuffle when Frenzy's destroyed, no. Uh, so that whatever card they saw on top there is the card they're drawing. Yeah, I'm not I'm not playing on Mordigo for Frenzy. I don't want to take a turn off like that. Yeah, I'm, I've been happy with three Mortify. Alright, so we're going to have to take two damage. But I, I like going turn one duress, turn two thought erasure. I guess we can kind of see if we need to turn two thought erasure or not. And maybe not. I probably should. Thought erasure is just going to get a whole lot worse over time. Yeah, I'll just play a tight taker actually. Never mind. Tight Taker wasn't a good play because because now Cry of the Cry of the Carnarium can't kill Steamkin. I need to thought erasure. That was just dumb. So my plan was to cry the next turn anyway. That was that was bad. That was bad. We just gotta deal with the steamkin. Shouldn't be too hard. Not too hard at all. Yeah, I really should have thought of Rager on turn two. Yeah, 
Yeah, get those things out of your hand. Let's look for Lyra. I can kill a frenzy. Yeah, or Chain Whirler. And so we draw land, which is much worse than negate, you know, negate or... You know, negate or um, Mortify would have definitely been better. But we got to a Resplendent Angel. That's a good card to get to. They don't draw the removal for Resplendent Angel. Here, it's looking grim for them. That's just a shock. All right. Let's go Vigilance. And Lifelink. All right, looks like we're gonna be two and one. Hey, Recruiter. Splendid Angel doing her job. Two and one. And during that match, we did get to our 15th sub of the day. So y'all know what that means. It's going to be pack time. Let's crack a pack to celebrate getting to five subs, like to our next five sub goal. So let's go ahead and get our Rivals of Ixalan pack, see if we can get some, uh, some Storm of the Vault action. That's our rare that I'd like to open. All right, well, Path of Metal is a, a pretty cool rare. I think that's my fourth Path of Metal. Maybe third. Good pack. Goldenize is a heck of a card. Take that one. So yeah, that's, that's what we're doing here. Every five subscribers, um, we crack a pack open here. If you'd help, like to help support me as a full-time streamer and get access to all 22 of our emotes now with six brand new ones for today, uh, consider hitting that sub button. And no, I don't. I don't have the the audio doesn't get played on YouTube. So with that win, the f five win, the five win dream is still alive. <laughs> Carson Edwards, get in on that action. Thanks, Carson. Deck, why you, why do you do this? I guess if I just have like two lands, then I won't draw another land ever. 16th sub of the day. So Monday, um, and yeah, 107 until we get another emote, and, and then we're doing a 12-hour stream to celebrate that. Yeah, 26 lands. You never expect it with how, how we keep on getting stuck on lands here. Um, Monday, we're doing a 12 hour stream to celebrate getting to 1500 YouTube subscribers. And it's also my birthday. So we're doing a uh, 12 hour stream on Monday for my birthday as well. So hope you all join in there. Carson says, first time a streamer said my name right. Didn't think it was a hard name. Wow, really? Carson Edwards? Yeah, that's a not a difficult one. But hey, thanks. Uh, thanks, Carson. 
glad you're here. Um, let's just end turn. I, th I feel like I may want to mortify a wilderness reclamation here. Maybe I should just be playing Resplendent Angel, though. But I think that they're going to, like, play their wilderness reclamation. They didn't do it, so mortifying that thing. It's 3 a.m. Is there any good red and black deck? Yeah, red black mid range um, is a pretty popular ar archetype that's that's solid. Um, Here you go, there's a bunch of Rakdos mid-range decks. You can kind of click on the, the right to see any of the other decks there. And thanks, Mascalar. Yeah, brand new glasses. Yeah, Kalua King, that's your dad's birthday also? Awesome. Unfortunately, these dive downs aren't usually too useful in this matchup. It'd certainly be better as Spell Pierce. This is like the second time this league that dive down, that Spell Pierce would have been better. But dive down is in particular good against Soul Tie. You know, like that's that's like the main reason to have dive down. We have like four dead cards. If we win this with four dead cards in the matchup, that'll be kind of incredible. Our opponent really has not done hardly anything. Because yeah, the two dive downs, the cast down, and the Kaiser at like none of those will really do anything. Sultai is the color combination that refers to um, green, black, and blue. I guess Gruel Stompy is ready to go. Let me get this going up on YouTube. Yeah, 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 opponent. All right, so that's up on YouTube now. Currently playing Esper Angels.
Need to make a thumbnail for Esper Angels. Seeing another Chemist's Insight is really bad for us. <laughs> Thanks, Fear the Monkey. Save this. I do like that resolve all button. That is certainly nice. I'm not gonna win this game with Ascanta there. We have a lot of things to bring in. So that gets us to 64. You help me, I'm dead. Do I need contempt? Maybe I don't need contempt. They're gonna have like well like frilled mystic and stuff. I have a cast down. I'll just have a cast down. Oh yeah, I, I should cut a land here, shouldn't I? Yeah, I probably should cut a land. Yeah, we cut the sixes and the fives. Um and a four and the fours, basically, besides Seraph. So I have nothing that costs more than four. Yeah, we don't need 26 land here. But with Thief of Sanity, Thief of Sanity is the kind of card that if we get that going, we do want to just hit our land drops with Thief of Sanity. Um, just Type Taker Seraph. That's just not not very good in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll keep Double Thought Razor and Negate, but we don't have blue mana as a problem. But we have a Scry and a whole lot of... Arch of Orozco would probably be the land I would have cut. Okay. There we go. We can start with Thought Erasure and start uh, trying to find a Thief of Sanity. I could just take the Growth Spiral here. So I want the Duress to take the Wilderness Reclamation. So I'm taking either Frilled Mystic or Hydroid Crasis. It's gonna take one Crasis. <clears throat> Maybe I shouldn't have taken Grow Spiral to start with. 
I should have just taken Krasis, Krasis. This is risky, of course. They, thankfully, they don't. The Archer Roscoe is really good for us. That um, Please don't get another land here. Ugh. All right, taking the growth spiral is definitely not so good. Not so good. I'm not going for Thief Attack. I can't... Thief, Thief's like my only card here. I can't trade it off. I'm I'm pretty dead, though. I just, you know... Three mana and such. I don't know why our opponent didn't attack with the Frilled Mystic. I'm, I'm glad they didn't, though. Yeah, we just need to draw lands now. So I, I did get rid of a, a land before whenever we didn't have a threat. Um... Yeah, we're dead. I messed up by taking the growth spiral with them having like the two lands it was like kind of juicy to take but they've done a good job of like drawing all these lands we haven't Why take the blink? Because I wanted Thief of Sanity to get under the Frilled Mystic. And if I don't take the blink, then the if I play Thief of Sanity, they just they bounce it and then counter it again with uh with Frilled with Frilled Mystic. I like taking the blink, but taking the Grow Spiral was a problem. I should have either taken Krasis or Reclamation. With the cast down in hand, I, I should have taken the Reclamation before. Oh, I don't... Yeah, we can't counter the, the root there, but that's okay. Um... The root only like stops him for a turn, you know. It's not, not the biggest deal. I just messed up by taking the the gross spiral earlier. I was hoping our opponent, you know, they had the two lands, right? And so I was thinking, oh, we could take this growth spiral and maybe they just won't hit land drops. Uh, but no, they just, you know, drew like 
three or four lands in a row and just kept on hitting land drops. I mean, they, they haven't missed a land drop. And, they just, and so we got really punished by taking the weak card there. Oh yeah, one one mistake definitely costs you games. Absolutely, that's how magic is. One mistake will certainly cost you games. Yeah, really good good hand for the opponent. You know, their hand was filled with really good cards, and I took some lesser ones to try to stick them on lands, and it just didn't work out uh, with them drawing land, land, land. The thing is, it, it could have worked out if they just didn't, if they didn't draw the lands. It could have been like, wow, taking that Grow Spiral was really smart because they didn't get that extra card and everything. And, you know, so it's hard to, you know, it's easy to say afterwards if I just knew that they were going to draw three lands in a row. Would have, you know, is easy to say afterwards, but oh well. Um, yeah, so dive downs weren't good there. Uh, the cast down, like taking the, the cast downs, were not so impressive either. Like I said before, dive down is is mostly really good against um, soul tie. Like that's where really where we want dive down. But you know, we weren't playing against soul tie. We're playing other matchups. Um, but I don't think we need to. So I think we're going to take out a dive down, um, moving forward. Exactly what I would want there though. Not a hundred percent sure, but I don't think I want two dive downs. I want only one. I'm not sure what I'd want the other card to necessarily be. I'm not sure. Could have... Could have one of these cards, like, could have, like, a, another Duress or, like, Negate main, you know, take out one of these uh, slots and be able to fit another Unmoored Ego in the sideboard then. Could just play the, the fourth Mortify again. Because Esper Control is certainly, you know, I want to keep, you know, we lost yet again to Esper Control, but I don't know, our hands just weren't very good there. All of those. What if we had one Duress in over here and one Unmoored Ego in over here? I could see that working. I think that's all I'll try the next time for Esper Angels. All right. So if you're watching this, of course, later on on YouTube, uh, first of all, thanks for watching. And I hope you hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you for the next video.